Okay, so welcome to the Flight and Eye Center. Here's the orb scan. Um, and Chris is setting it up. As we speak, it's all set up. It's just a matter of just turning it on, which um, the switch is right. Actually, it's just down below. There's a computer down below here. Right here, you just push the button and then it's on. Right below the screen. So it just goes straight down below the desk. On the right side is the turn on button. Okay. It really just consists basically of a table, a mouse, a screen, a computer, an arm, and then the head. And then ultimately the patient's going to sit here. And what you'll see is a placido disc which will be projected onto the cornea, which you'll see. Um, and then it scans as there's a moving arm, and then that scan is then captured on the screen. That's a brand new computer. Everything's been upgraded. Um, the Usually, when you turn it on, it comes up. Just takes it a second. There we go. Then here you go. File, new. Wait a sec. All right. So once you have the patient's information in, you simply hit acquire, and that'll do two scans of the right and left eye. Of course, this is what it looks like. The orb scan is now on, and so the placido disc is now on. Just take it real slow here. So you'll start with the right or the left eye, whichever your choice is. It's the right. screen you'll see. And uh, and so what we're going to do is he's going to adjust the table. So and then we'll get and then Cindy's going to just typically. All right, I mean, now, I so, see the red flashing light in there. So, so over here, here you'll get a good picture of her eye. And there's a dial here where you can lower the actual orb scan to get in center with her eye. At this point, once you're pretty much locked on, you want the red right in the center there, you'll move it in forward. Uh, okay, you move it forward. And then you see the, you're going to get um, the keratometry rings, the Myers, and you're going to put it on there just like you normally would. Just like, just like, that. Just like, like, like that. And then you button now. Now this button here on the side, it's yeah. the same button that's on this side. There's two buttons, one on each side. So um, once you get it, once you get exactly where you want it, and those, and the two side lights, by the way, are, are completely in focus. And then I'll ask Cindy to blink. Go ahead and blink for us, Cindy. Open real wide. That's great. Hold it right there. There's the scan. So now... And then you, there you are. One down. Um, well, Cindy's head care, has had um, LASIK, so that's why her corneas look like they do. And save it. That's the first game. Then you come over to, uh, we're going to change it to, this will be captured. Now we're going to go over to the other screen, which is over, over view. Quad maps, and then over to normal band scale. Normal band scale, okay? And those are the only two that we really use, okay? And we look down at the bottom left to make sure that it's green. That way it should be totally green, you know. And uh, the only reason why we're seeing differences is because she had LASIK. And you can see now that she's at 456, all right. Okay, and then we print. So he can do just a control P. And then off the laser. It's really just a, um, it's an inkjet printer. HP inkjet printer. There are uh, inside the computer, if you take off the back, uh, there are disks uh, for Windows calibration of this machine. Like this, and then you kind of see this thing coming out there. That was very nice. Now, here's shortcut to orb scan manual right here. Right there. Okay, fine. The manual's on the machine. Okay, that's cool. Excellent. What else do we have on this machine? Oh, we have Snap It. We give you that. It's because that with Snap It, hit Snap It. I'll go over that. It's kind of a cool program. You may want to, you know, have an image. Forget the update. Just go to No. And then this this actually can acquire. If we had a, um, and then just minimum. Uh, um, let me see. If you, this actually can capture and make a JPEG of any section of the um, 
of your map if you want to do a lecture or something like that. That's what Snap it does. That's my program it gave me. Okay, so you can shut that down. And um, we got a bunch of nomograms up here. If we hit the, or if we hit that. And um, we'll kind of leave this here for you, uh, but we take no, uh, it's completely, well, you know, your use of this is uh, at your own discretion. Um, I don't use this nomogram, so it's kind of, I never did, but uh, you can kind of look at that if you want. It's on an Acrobat reader. Um, company's no longer with us. MVT, they were great. Okay, we're going to shut that down. And then we go to Flayden. Let's see, do we have a we have a Lasix folder, I guess. Well, what else do we have up there? I hit VizX information. Okay, these are all these are more uh, data of how much you're going to be uh, removing. This is data on how much uh, cornea you'll remove. I can close that down. You can leave all those out. Okay, that's fine. And um, you go down to OrbScan JPEG and you click on this gal here. You can see that I, I actually created that JPEG using uh, Snag. Okay, and close that down. As an example, cone that we wouldn't want to do. And uh, that's and then to shut it down, you just go to Start. Shut down, and then it just and then it just shut down. Okay, that's it. All right. Calls for technical support. We'll be able to do that for you. All right. And uh, you know, this is Windows Professional XP, so you should do fine. All right. All right, so we're going to show you um, how to put on this head, take it off, which you do one time. In the perspective, here, here is the head. You see it? There it is. Okay, we're going to take this piece off. Now it has just, um, looks like a printer port here, and you'll see the screws there. We're going to just unscrew that and take those off, and then we're just going to lift it off, and I'll show you that. So hold on. Chris is going to demonstrate here. It's just on a pin. It just comes out, and then it goes right back down in there. That's it, okay? Then you just come back around, and then we're going to plug these two pieces back in. We're not going to... Uh, that one goes there. And then, then, then you just screw it in so it's tight. All right, that will turn on the machine. Out there really is no password. You just there is okay. no password, just hit OK. That's correct. And then you'll see it just comes up all by itself. Unless we have to run out, we have to run out of whatever task. We'll just put anybody's name in, it doesn't really matter. Just to show you that the, uh, we're going to do a kind of a fake scan here. Okay, so now you can see that the, it's on. Okay. All right, so when you're actually looking into this, uh, you see a disc, then you'll see a, a red light, and it's blinking, and then you know you're on, on the target. But the point of it is, is that this head, uh, it just, it's, it's one piece. It's just connected to these two connectors, and uh, you screw those in. We're going to leave it like it is, because it's going to be moving here uh, today. And... Um, that's it. That's all there is. All right. Have a good day.